Welcome to the program Learn Chi with Opoku. This is going to be the fifth edition of the Chi Lessons on Tenses. And today we'll be dealing with the future tense. In Chi, there are two types of future tenses. And that is simple future and the immediate future. Good. With a simple future in Chi, it's a tense that tells you that something is going to be happening later on, but it doesn't give you the impression that it's going to be happening very soon. However, with the immediate future, that one tells you that something is going to be done later on. However, it will be done very soon. Let's, let me give you this scenario. If I tell you I'll go to Hamburg, yeah? It's not something that is going to be done right now, but later on. However, it doesn't give you the impression that it's going to be done very soon. But if I say, I'm about to go to Hamburg, this one gives you the impression that very soon I'll be going to Hamburg. And that is what we call the immediate future. With a simple future in Chi, the verb is prefaced with be. Whilst with the immediate future, the verb is prefaced with rebe. So we have these two prefaces, be and rebe. Now let's take one verb and then we will try to use that one to explain these two types of four tenses that we have under future tense. Let's take a verb like say, yeah, and that is to do. If I want to say, I will do. We know that I'll have to write I, which is me. And then I'll have to preface the verb here yeah, with what? Be. So we have me plus be. Yeah. Good. What happens is that me will lose the E and or then the be will also lose the B. So we have M plus A. Yeah, and we have what? Me. Yeah, me. Yeah, and that is I will do. I will do. This one, as you see, I have just said I will do, may I? but when? Is it going to be very soon, later on? It doesn't give you any impression that I'm going to do it soon, sooner or later. Cool. Let's take another example. We are treating the simple future. Let's take another example. Wo, that is you. You. If I want to say you will do, I'll write wo plus be ye. As I've told you, you have to preface the verb with what? Be. Good. So, wo plus be ye will have wo be ye. Wo be ye. You will do. You will do. Let's take ono. He or she. Ono. We will get ono plus be ye. The verb doesn't change. All will be what? Be ye, be ye, be ye. It's only in the first person singular pronoun like me that we had to eliminate the be before be ye. The rest we have be ye, be ye, be ye throughout. Good. So, or no, we'll lose the no and we have all plus be ye. And at the end we'll get what? Or be ye. Obey ye. He will do or she will do. Obey ye. Nice one. What about eno? That is it. Eno plus be ye. Eno will lose the no and then we we'll have e plus be ye. And at the end we will get e be ye. E be ye. It will do. It will do. E be ye. Nice one. Let's take some of the plural verbs. Let's take yen to begin with it. Yen, we. Yen will lose the N, and then if you add be ye, then it will be hot. Ye be ye. Ye be ye. We will do. Ye be ye. We will do. Good. What about one? If you take one, one that is day, one will always lose the N, and then we'll get wo. And then we add be ye, and we'll get what? Wo be ye, wo be ye. They will do, wo be ye. They will do. 
these are all in what simple future tense we can convert this also into what immediate future tense with the immediate future tense all that one needs to do is to preface the verb with rebe rebe so let's take this yeah that is to do verb and then construct some phrases in the immediate future tense for example with the first one i said may which is i will do let's convert this into what immediate future all that i will do is to preface the verb that is here with her. rebe rebe good so i will write me plus rebe ye. and i will get what me rebe ye. me rebe ye. and that is i'm about to do you see that this one gives you the impression that i'm going to be doing or i'm going to be carrying out what i'm promising very soon yeah this is what immediate future however this is how we write it but as i've told you previously in the normal daily conversations we will say very good let's take a breath you singular you wo plus rebeye wo have what wo rebeye wo rebeye you are about to do however we will say wo beye wo beye wo beye you are about to do how about you know, he or she we will write or no plus rebeye or no, we we'll lose the N O and then we we'll get all plus rebeye. So we we'll get what? Or rebeye. Or rebeye. He is about to do or she is about to do. Or rebeye. However, in normal daily conversations, we will say or beye. Or beye. So don't forget that. Or beye. And no, that is it. And no, we we'll lose the N O and then we'll get A. So what will happen? It will be a rebeye. A rebeye. And we will say a beye. A beye. It is about to what? Do. It is about to do. Let's take some of the plural pronouns. And let's begin with what yen. Yen. We. We. Yen plus rebeye yen will lose the n and we'll get ye plus rebeye and that will be what ye rebeye ye rebeye that is how we write it but we say ye rebeye ye rebeye we are about to do this is what immediate future one day one plus rebeye one will lose the n and then we'll have warebeye. Warebeye. That is, they are about to do. However, we will say warebeye. Warebeye. So, in short, all that we are trying to say is that to construct a statement in the future tense in P, you can choose to construct a statement in simple future tense or immediate future tense with a simple future tense all that one needs to do is to what preface the verb with be and then with the immediate future one has to preface the verb with rebe rebe that is all once these prefaces are fixed the verb will be in what future tense but we have not finished check the next video as we treat present perfect as well as past perfect until then as i always say keep learning tree with opoku thank you